All right, moving from the lumbar and pelvic region into the lower limb, let's remember that we've got the iliac crest, very palpable, out here laterally. And as we move a little more posteriorly, these big shelves of bone that are sticking out posteriorly, we have the posterior superior iliac spine. There is a posterior inferior iliac spine, but it's much less palpable, so we'll worry about this one. As we move to the front, on the anterior aspect, we have the very pronounced ASIS, anterior superior iliac spine, and just inferior to that, but also still palpable, is the anterior inferior iliac spine. So you'll hear these referred to as the ASIS and the AIIS. Try to use the full name just to make sure that you're getting used to the terminology and not short circuiting it. Then, moving on to the femur, the head of the femur is very important but not palpable. What is palpable is this large, bony structure right here. This is the greater trochanter. It was an attachment site for lots of muscles. And we'll take a look at some of those right now on Ashley. All right, so looking at the bony landmarks of the lower limb, let's start off with one that we know quite well, the iliac crest. So you pop it down until you find the shelf of bone, basically the rim of the hip bone right here. As you follow that posteriorly, you're going to find a very palpable landmark. That is the posterior superior iliac spine. So posterior superior iliac spine, pop it around until you find that on your partner, if you have any turned sideways. And the posterior superior iliac spine, we come across the top, and right here, most palpable, probably, landmark that we have in this whole video is the anterior superior iliac spine. To find the next one, you want to go an inch in and an inch down, and that's where you find the, sorry, the anterior inferior iliac spine. So ASIS, inch in, inch down, AIIS. On the lateral side, you want to palpate a little bit down from the iliac crest until you find a large bony prominence on the femur. That is the greater trochanter. And the greater trochanter is a site for a lot of muscle attachment, mainly the gluteus muscles coming from the sacrum and the ilium around to insert right here. So on the anterior thigh, we have the quadricep muscles right here. And if you lift up your knee, quadricep muscles come down, around, wrap around the patella, and then from the patella, we go to the tibia, and we'll see that in just a moment. The quadricep muscles on the anterior thigh, the posterior thigh muscles are called the hamstring muscles. All right, let's take a quick look at some further bony features on the skeleton. All right, moving down from the greater trochanter to the shaft of the femur, we come across the patella, or the kneecap. Now the quadricep muscles wrap around the patella, and then a ligament extends from the inferior aspect of the patella to this bump on the tibia. This is called the tibial tuberosity, and you do want to palpate that. Laterally and medial, we've got two big struts of bone. We have the medial femoral epicondyle right here. This is large because it's the insertion point for one of the adductor muscles, and that's the muscles on the medial aspect of the thigh that bring it towards the midline. Out here, we have the lateral femoral epicondyle. Now, moving further down, we get to the tibia, and the fibula, not the fibia, tibia fibula. Right here we've got this medial tibial condyle, you can help it, the lateral tibial condyle, and just inferior to that is where we find the fibular head. Very palpable, very easy to find. All the way down the fibula we come to the lateral malleolus. Now we have styloid processes in the wrist, we have malleolus or malleolar processes in the ankle. So the fibula makes the lateral malleolus, tibia has a palpable medial malleolus right there. Now we're gonna go just a little further down and point out that we have the tenuous bone anteriorly, we have the calcaneus or the calcaneal tuberosity making up the majority of the heel, and there's a little tiny bump out here laterally called the tuberosity of the fifth metatarsal. So play with that word until it makes sense. Tuberosity or bump on the fifth metatarsal is a site for muscle attachment and is something that's easily palpable. Let's take a look at those on our model. Looking at the same palpable structures on the person, we've got the quadricep muscles on the anterior thigh coming across the patella and the kneecap. So with your partner, just kind of feel that. Don't dig your fingertips in, but you can roll the patella around, especially if the quadriceps are relaxed. Then the patellar ligament comes down from here and attaches to the tibial tuberosity, that bump on the most anterior region of the tibia right there. 
snapped to the femur right here at its terminal end as a medial and the lateral epicondyle. The medial epicondyle is the attachment site for one of the big adductors, the muscles on the inner thigh. And then the lateral epicondyle is obviously located a little further out. It's very palpable on both sides. As we move down, you're going to feel a gap, and then we're going to hit the tibia. We have a lateral tibial condyle, medial tibial condyle. These are important palpatory features when you're looking at knee injuries. If we move from medial to lateral tibial condyle and roll down just a bit more, you actually find a big lump of bone right there. This is the head of the fibula. It's a little bit mobile, and you can really palpate its extent very easily. The fibula comes all the way down here. Lift the leg a little bit. Actually, yeah, stay facing forward. I'm just going to lift your leg up. Right here on the lateral ankle, we have a very easily palpable lateral malleolus. And then on the inside, we have the tibia coming to a sharp little point that is the medial malleolus. So fibula is lateral malleolus, tibia is medial malleolus. And then right here, if you go ahead and uh, dorsiflex and go ahead and relax, if we palpate straight in between those tendons, the bone that we're going to palpate is the talus. And right here, the heel itself is made up of the calcaneus and specifically the calcaneal tuberosity. Big attachment point for the muscles of the posterior leg with the calcaneal or Achilles tendon. And then right here, on the lateral aspect of your partner's foot, palpate out until you find a big lump of bone sticking out. That is the tuberosity of the fifth metatarsal. Tenderness there can be a sign of an avulsion injury where you have a tendon pulling away that little piece of bone. All right, that's it for the muscles and palpable bony landmarks of the lower limb.